So hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos. If you're new here then welcome to my channel, if not then welcome back. So today is the day where I'm finally getting around to filling up the Detolf so that I can house my uh, Russian Dwarf Hamster Cashmere in there. So the Detolf has been sitting empty for about just over a month now. This Cashmere's sister cupcake very sadly passed away. I just thought it would be really nice to house Cashmere in a Detolf and see how she gets on because she has been in a living world cage for about two years now. But I have been needing to set up the cage for her for a good couple of weeks and I know I kept saying that I was going to do it um, but I've just been really really busy. If you're wondering what substrates I'm going to be using I'll link a video down below which I did about a month ago when I bought a load of different substrates and I sat down and I spoke to you guys about some of them. So any substrates you see me using in this video I would have mentioned it in that video so I'll have it on screen now or I'll have it linked in the description so you can go ahead and check that I'm also going to be trying these uh, pets at home cage cleaning wipes um, I got them a couple of weeks ago and I've been looking forward to trying them out so I'm gonna wipe down the cage with these first let you guys know what I think about them um, whether they're any good or not in a pack you get 20 wipes and these are £2.50 so hopefully they're good also got a new dustpan and brush I don't don't know if i'm gonna need it today um but yeah i just thought i'll go ahead and show you guys my new dustpan and brush because my last one did break when i was cleaning out this cage this cage is actually a ikea display cabinet turned on its side it's called the ikea detolf it's really really popular among the hamster community so many people have this um as a cage and it's great it's really cheap as well um when i got mine i think it was around about 40 pounds but i think it's gone up to about 50 pounds now but that's still really 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 cheap for a cage especially of this size so i have the cage sitting on two of the ikea mom drawers um they're just the four drawers and the two single ones together so as you can see there's little bits of cardboard here and why i have it is so that it supports the weight of the cage all of this there's nothing to support the glass um and if nothing's supporting the glass then the weight of the bedding and everything inside the cage will like basically be pushing down on it and it will start Bending. The cage Kashmir is living in at the moment is called the Living World Eco Habitat. Um, I got the cage from Zoo Plus. You can also find it on Amazon. It is a little bit pricey. It's over £100. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I've had it for years now, but it is a really, really, really good cage. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the cage. I'm going to test the wipes out first and then come back and let you guys know what I think of them. So now that I've tried out the wipes, I have to say I really, really, really like them and I'll definitely be buying them again. The smell is quite nice and refreshing. It's not anything too strong or it doesn't smell like too, like, chemically, if that's even a word. And honestly, I wish I did discover them a lot earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and start filling up the cage now. So I keep all of my natural hamster supplies under my bed. So I have some in here. I do want to try and incorporate some of these stuff. And then I also have some more, like wooden bits and stuff in there and i also have these two hidey houses i actually have one of these already but the um like paint job on it is a little bit ruined because i washed it like i soaked it but i think i soaked it for too long um so i went ahead and bought another one and then i have this one which is a larger version so i know that down this end i want to put some like wood shavings like aspen or something down here and then i know on the opposite end i'm going to be putting some um soil because cashmere really likes that and cupcake really really liked it as well um and when she was in this cage i put the soil down this side you can still sort of see a little bit of it i tried to get most of it off but it's just stuck there so I'm going to stick to just putting soil there. So I've just poured in one bag of this substrate. I've never actually tried it before. This is the first time I'm trying it. And to be honest with you, it is the nicest substrate I've probably ever, ever, ever bought. It's so soft. And I don't know why, but it just feels really warm it's so hard to describe um but this is so nice i'm kind of feeling like maybe burying a tunnel like down here or something like that maybe i might do that um but over in that corner um like over here i'm going to put cashmere's water bottle so i'm gonna go and grab that from her cage <laughs> I think I'm just going to start by looking through the natural items that I have and then just like putting them in different places in the cave. I'm just going to like play around for a little bit um, and just 
see how it goes really. filling up the cage and I'm really 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 happy with how it looks I'm not too sure how long it took probably about an hour I can't wait to put Kashmir in there she's gonna have so much fun walking around and exploring and I just can't wait for her to go in there so she has got her same water bottle and her same wheel I just put it into the new cage I'm gonna take some of her um, bed in that's in her house where she sleeps I'm gonna take some of that out and put it around the cage so if you didn't know I actually have a light behind the cage I don't think I've actually mentioned this in a very 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 long time but yeah i have an led light behind the cage the light itself is from ikea it's basically just a switch around here um I turn it off and the lights off so this is what the cage looks like as you can see i've managed to use a few different substrates so she's got two food dishes she's got one just there and then she's got another one over here and there's her wheel and yeah that's basically what the cage looks like. Um, I've got some millet spray for her here as well. Um, and there's also another bit down here. So she's got enough food to last her a little while. And I've also put a bit of her favorite like treat. It's like this, um, it's like bits of dried parsley, which she loves. I've just sprinkled it in this area. Thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching it so much fun putting the cage together i really hope you enjoyed the whole experience with me if you guys enjoyed watching this don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below and i'll see you in my next video so bye for now